What are isotherms? Well, these are the lines that connect places on a map that have the same temperature. Let's do a small activity to understand how these isotherms are drawn. Now, this is a map of the world. The first step is to note down the temperatures of different places on the map. Next, connect the places with the same temperature on the map. Each line we get represents an isotherm. Now, the following observations can be made about isotherms. You can see the lines are almost parallel to the latitudes. What does that mean? Well, it means that the temperature along the latitudes is almost the same. Observe the temperature isotherm corresponding to 25 degrees Celsius. It appears as an ellipse on the map. In this ellipse, you can see that the difference in distance between the isotherms is more on land compared to the oceans. Can you guess why this is so? This is because temperature varies on land as we move away from coastal areas towards the interior part of the continent. But over water, the temperature is almost uniform. Now observe this 0 degree Celsius isotherm in the northern and southern hemispheres. In the northern hemisphere, it varies a lot while in the southern hemisphere, it is straight, almost parallel to the latitude. Now, why is that? In the northern hemisphere, the presence of land and ocean causes a variation in temperature. While in the southern hemisphere, there is only water. Thus, temperature variation is less. Hence, isotherms are almost straight in the southern hemisphere. Observe these isotherms as they cross North America and pass over the Atlantic Ocean. They change their direction and start moving in a northeasterly direction. Now, why is that? This is because in the east coast of North America, the presence of a warm ocean current called the Gulf Stream increases the temperature shifting the isotherms northeast. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.